In one of the previous episodes within the Introduction to Windows Forensics series entitled Persistence Mechanisms, which we're looking at now, we talked about Windows Auto Start Extensibility Points, or ASCPs, and how they're commonly abused by malware authors as a means of ensuring their code survives a reboot. As an example, remember the good old run key? Click the card above to view that episode if you need a quick refresher. As a follow-up to that video, we're going to look at a new volatility plugin that will enable us to parse ASCPs directly from memory. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Hey, wait a minute, that's not new. There's been a volatility auto runs plugin available for years. Well, that's true, but this is a completely new plugin based around some exciting new research published within this academic paper. Now sit back and relax while I read the entire paper to you. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to give you a nice quick TLDR summary of all of this. After all, that's why you're here, right? So at the recent Digital Forensics Research Workshop, DFRWS European Conference, which took place in late April 2019, Daniel Euros and Ricardo Rodriguez presented on the characteristics and detection of Windows Auto Start Extensibility Points in Memory Forensics. Within that academic paper that you just saw on screen, which you probably aren't going to read, but should, they introduce a new volatility plugin called WinESAP that, quote, extends the volatility framework and allows a memory forensic analyst to detect the presence of unknown and rare programs in registry-based ASCPs. By the way, that's not a typo. It's actually WinESAP, or WineSAP, which apparently is a type of Apple, I think. Who knew? So here is the old Volatility Auto Runs plugin that many of you may already be familiar with. This new plugin, however, is a lot more capable, whereas the old plugin performed a cross-check of common ASCPs within running processes in the memory dump file, when ESAP checks for more ASCPs and applies custom rules to detect suspicious paths and file names. I reached out to Dr. Rodriguez to ask some questions about this exciting new research, and he told me that in the future they plan to add some additional features by means of process and file carving, as well as allowing the user to define non-suspicious paths, effectively whitelisting any ASCPs located within. So in the next section of the video, we'll take a look at this new plugin. First though, we need to talk about a common issue you may have if you try to use this plugin within the SIFT workstation and we'll look at a couple of ways to work around that. Then we'll see the tool in action as we analyze a Windows 10 memory image. So let's get started. All right, here we are in our SIFT workstation and within this directory, I have a couple of memory images that we're going to be using for our demo, a clone of the newest version of Volatility, and of course, a clone of the plugin itself which is called WinESAP or WineSAP, if you prefer. Now, though the project is WineSAP, the actual plugin on the volatility command line is referenced by using the auto runs keyword. So herein lies the problem. If we try this with the volatility version bundled with the SIFT workstation, here's what happens. It's going to bomb, and the reason why is because there already is an auto runs plugin. It's the previous one that we talked about in the previous section of this episode. So because that's already pre-configured, we need to do something to coexist these two plugins. If we look at the actual code for WineSAP, you'll notice the class itself is auto runs. One workaround is to simply rename this class. So for example, we could just tack a two on the end here and call it auto runs two. And then on the volatility command line, we could simply run the plugin by referencing auto runs too, and they will coexist happily ever after and will be done. However, I'm not going to do that in this case because I actually, as I mentioned earlier, have a clone of the newest version of volatility already in this location. So we'll go ahead and reference this. We'll basically repeat almost the same command, but we will instead use this isolated version of volatility as opposed to the volatility version bundled with the SIFT workstation. So let's go ahead and up arrow here. We'll go to the beginning of the line and simply call the volatility slash vol.py version. And we'll simply run it again with this isolated volatility. 
And at this point, we're not going to have any conflicts and we'll go ahead and start getting back this output. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of output here showing us all of the different ASAPs that it's pulling from the registry. Now, one thing that we can do via the help options here is use this really nifty feature called dash dash match. This will only show us the suspicious entries. Now that does not mean that if it doesn't show up here that everything is fine and you should just blindly trust it. You should never blindly trust any forensics tool. Hopefully you know that by now. But this is a nice convenient feature that gives us a place to start. Let's go ahead and tack on the dash dash match option and run this again. And in this case, we're going to get back nothing because this happens to be a clean memory image. There's no malware present in this image. And as you can see, it spit back the line with nothing present at all. It didn't say no matches found or give us any kind of indication. It just did nothing. Luckily, though, you can actually download a sample infected memory image from the WineSAP project page. And I've done that. So let's go ahead and reference that memory image, which is referred to as full infected dot vmem. And the profile to use for this happens to be win 7 sp one x64. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll again use dash dash match. Now I've sped this up. It actually ended up taking about three minutes to run. So in the interest of time we'll just blow through this until it finishes running. But you can immediately notice that we see a bunch of warning lines with yellow text that say things like suspicious path file and suspicious shell execution. So right out of the gate we see things that would be of interest to us. And you'll notice, of course, the full registry paths there. And we can see exactly what this particular plugin thinks may not be legit on this system. So again, a very nice place to start if we don't exactly know what we're looking for, but we suspect some sort of malware persistence mechanism may be present on the image. So pretty neat. To recap, within the SIFT workstation, we looked at two different workarounds that we could use in order to get the WineSAP plugin to work. Because remember, it is referred to as auto runs when you're calling the plugin within the volatility command line. And because that already exists on the SIFT workstation, we needed to do something to work around that. So after that, we simply call the plugin by specifying dash dash plugins equal and then the path to the plugin directory. And then we call the plugin with auto runs. And the only option we looked at was dash dash match tacked on to the end there, which will attempt to show us what it thinks are suspicious entries. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use this plugin to find ASCPs within a memory image. There's nothing wrong, of course, with the previous auto runs plugin. It works just fine, but this one does tend to be a bit more capable. And I really do like that dash dash match feature that attempts to show us where evil may be present. And that wraps up this quick look at this awesome new plugin. So I hope that you will download this for yourself. And as I previously mentioned, you can also download this sample infected memory image so you can play around with this. But definitely take a look at it and see if it will help you in your investigations. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this informative and useful. There are plenty of new episodes in the works. So I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Take care.